Hi, it's Amanda, Creative Gardener here. Um, I've just been spending my time with my new concoction, which is thyme, broadleaf thyme, basically. It's a broadleaf thyme blended um, and strained, and I diluted it with water, and I've been um, putting it on the, um, the plants. I'll show you what I've done with the um, oil and broadleaf thyme. Um, to try and protect the pawpaw tree from um, snails and slugs. I've just found them, They what they've been doing is crawling up. Um, well, actually, let me show you. So what um, I showed, I shared with um, you before was a way that I was utilizing the broadleaf time because it's just kind of taking over the garden and I wanted to find other things that you can do with it and there are several so one of the things i've been doing with it is blending it and breaking it down and then removing the water so each um blender full using my new tree ninja anyway um for each one for each um full I put a cup of water in it and then just blend it and then put it in there. And so what you will have is, this has um, got quite a lot of um, water. It's made up of quite a lot of water and um, it's got the oils in there. So that allows, blending it allows them to break down and then it moves on to the next stage. And this is what I've found to be um, the best way to kind of... Um, separate it basically um, because what I'm going to be using once I've taken extracted all the water out of this I'm going to use the the fibrous bit back into the garden and then the water the juice I'll be using that um, on on the plants so um, I'm really pleased so we're going to move on to the next stage <laughs> So now that I've finished blending it, um, I've got this sock um, that I'm going to be um, straining it through. Whatever you've got, you, you can um, utilise that as well. And you can see where, um, this is where I boiled the first batch. And um, actually I can show you how it, how it looks. This is the first batch that I heated um, on the stove, I boiled it. Um, extracted all the liquid and it's now kind of um, dried into like a grass um, and I can do several things with this I can lay it down on the on top of the soil by the plants and hopefully it's it's um, the properties are still in there so that there are certain insects that will not go around the tender plants like the plants like um, you know the um, pumpkins or the melons and things like that so um, that's really good to put on the plants um, with the next mixture it's going to be a lot finer it's more like a powdered like okay so here we are with the um, broadleaf thyme um, I decided not to put it in the oven in the end um, I thought, well, I wanted as much of the properties that you can get in there, especially because one half I boiled and the other half I blended. So I wanted as much of the properties to remain um, rather than drying it out with the heat, but allowing it to natural dry. Um, and it's amazing how much I actually cut up um, and put shredded like this. Um, to how much it's actually um, come out to. So I've still got a bag full that I'd cut yesterday. Um, I thought I'd be able to get through it all, but it was just taking so long. But it's it's going to be um, one of those processes that's actually going to be really good because if you think to yourself what it was like before, I mean, this is it. This is the broadleaf time here. Um, I didn't, I've just taken the leaves off and I'll show you that um, separately. Um, but it's broken now broken down into this, which can, or well, I've, I've broken it down into this, which can be, you know, used 
Um, I'm thinking in potting, um, adding to the compost, because again, it's just gonna break down even further. And you've got the oils, it's still got quite a bit of a smell. Um, so I'm hoping that's what will deter the insects away from, especially my pumpkin and melons. Um, I've not been able to grow them as they should because they, you know, are constantly under attack from the squash bug. So I'm hoping using this will remedy that. And um, it's, yeah, it's just, I'm just amazed at how it now looks. But the fibre that you'll get, that you're seeing is from the stems, which is uh, really fibrous and um, breaks down quite slowly. So this combined with the leaves is just um, a really, I was gonna say a really great thing, but no, it is actually because yeah, as I say, it's gonna be breaking down. Um, the noises you can hear is the nightlife now coming, uh, coming out and uh, making their presence known. But um, yeah, so I shall be keeping you updated as to um, how this is working, especially this with some of the seeds I've got. I've got loads of seeds that I want to plant. And I also want to see how if you combine this with um, like a paper pulp and made a mould, how the seeds would, um, how well they would grow in that because then you've got the, the richness and the, the, the nutrients from the broadleaf thyme in a mould with the seed in it. And as the seed's growing, it's drawing from the nutrients that the mould has contained in it. So that's another thing I wanna experiment with. Um, but there's so many different things that I'd love to experiment with. and. So we just have to take our time and see how things go. But I'm pleased with this. I didn't know it was going to actually look like this. Um, and there's still kind of bits that haven't really broken down from the stem. Um, but I think sun dried, this will, um, this is better sun dried. And then you can always um, use one of those pestle and mortars. Um, I've just got the blender, I'm just going to try and break it down even more so it's more of a kind of a fine, finer dust um, and then start the process with the other ones that I've got. So what seemed to work really good, well I think it's both, both of them have their benefits because boiling for just a short time in a pot and then shredding it. I've got this um, and it was a lot finer when I just shredded it all together leaves and what is that okay yeah so um, I'm gonna take this and I'm going to see um, how it dries by tomorrow we'll see how it dries and hopefully we'll get some sunshine and um, it will be able to just dry out and then I can decide whether I need to make it even finer or I can um, just leave it as is. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what I've done is I made a paste of the broadleaf thyme and um, just a little bit of um, avocado oil. I would have used any oil, um, uh, avocado oil, coconut oil, and I've put some at the top to try and um, where they've done the damage just kind of protect it so um, I'll just have to wait and see if it works and then I've spread some of the dried out one around the edge and then I came again and sprayed around here with um, some of the solution diluted with water so fingers crossed that will work <laughs> 